Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how I make this absolutely delicious dip dish meat pie. So if you want to see how I made this, please keep watching. I'm going to start off by making the pie dough. To do this, combine all-purpose flour and salt in a large bowl. Give this a quick mix. Next, I'm going to add in the cold butter. Using my hands, I'm going to combine this until the butter is fully mixed in with the flour. And you can also use margarine for this recipe. Margarine works great. To use margarine, you would need to reduce the quantity of the salt so it's not too salty. I'm going to leave a detailed recipe in the description box below. Once this has come together, I'm going to go ahead and add in the cold water. Give this a quick mix and immediately the dough comes together, you're good to go. You don't need to overmix this dough. Overmixing is going to result in a tougher pie. I'm going to take this out and transfer onto a plastic wrap. I'm going to wrap this and transfer to the refrigerator or to the freezer for about one hour. While the dough is resting and cooling, I'm going to go ahead and make the filling for the pie. To make this, I've added some oil in a pan, heated it up and I've gone ahead to add the onion and some minced garlic. I'm going to stir fry this for about 2 minutes until the onion is fragrant. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add in the ground beef. And I'm going to season this with salt, chicken seasoning, pepper because I like mine spicy. Of course, this is optional. And also some beef seasoning cubes Next, I'm going to add in some diced potatoes. I'm also going to add some diced carrots at this time. And I'm going to stir fry this for about two minutes. I'm also going to add some chopped bell peppers I'm using this for color and also I like the sweet taste it gives to the filling. I'm going to stir fry this for about one minute. Next I'm going to add in the all-purpose flour. You can also use cornstarch for this. This is going to act as a thickening agent so the pie is not too runny. Add in the water enough to cook the potatoes, give this a good mix, taste and adjust seasoning as needed. Mine needed a little bit of salt so I did just that. Next I'm going to cover this and allow to simmer on medium low heat for about 10 minutes. After about 10 minutes the pie filling is looking good, I'm going to give this a quick mix. And I'm going to take this off heat and allow this to cool down completely. At this time, I'm going to bring out the dough from the refrigerator. 
actually put mine in the freezer so it cools faster I'm going to generously flour the wok surface and I'm going to roll out the dough now that the butter has solidified in the freezer it's much more easier to work with You can also use a pie dish, a regular pie dish, or a regular baking pan if you have that. And if you want this exact tart pan, it's going to be linked in the description box below. I added spring onions to the pie filling while it was cooling, which is the green stuff you see here. And after leveling, I'm going to go ahead and add in the second part of the pie dough. Using my rolling pin, I'm going to press it against the pan so it can come off the edges. And I'm going to take off the extra pie dough off the pan. And I'm going to brush this with egg wash. This is um, just one beaten egg. This is going to give the pie a nice shiny golden brown finish. Next, I'm going to make little cuts on the pie. This is just to ensure that any steam that develops during the baking process can easily escape so it doesn't bust the pie open. After doing this, I'm going to transfer this to a preheated 350 degrees Fahrenheit oven and I'm going to let this bake for about 55 to 60 minutes. And while it's baking, luckily I found this mini tart pans I had. I'm going to be using this to make mini pies from the leftover dough. I'm going to roll out the leftover dough. If at any point you find the dough is too soft or it's a bit difficult to work with, pop it in the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes and it should be good to go. I'm going to flour this and roll it out. Next, I'm going to cut it into circles using a plate. Next, I'm going to assemble this just like I did the previous pie. And if you need this mini tart pan, it's also going to be linked in the description box below. I'm going to finish it off with the egg wash and I'm also going to poke some holes into it. Next, I'm going to transfer this to the oven for about 40 minutes. And I did a quick tutorial just in case you don't have the mini tart pan or if you want to use this recipe for regular pie, it works too. Just cut the dough into circles fill the dough at the middle, close and use a fork to seal the edges. Poke some holes into it and it's good to go. Now it's time to take the pie out of the oven. 
it looks absolutely beautiful and it smells amazing i'm going to take it off the pan and i'm going to transfer this to a cooling rack and now i'm going to slice it open so you can see what it looks like on the inside do let me know if this is a recipe you're going to be trying i can assure you this is an absolute game changer the mini pies are also ready at this time i'm going to take them out of their pans the mini pies are perfect for kids and also perfect for portion control if you've made it this far thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel and if you have already subscribed thank you so much for subscribing and i'll see you in my next video bye